Today's lesson, section 3.1b, we're talking about quadratic functions and models. So here, we'll just take out or pick up from where we left off from the last video, where we were talking about um, putting a quadratic function into standard form. So when you have it in standard form, another way of saying it is in vertex form. And so for that value, you can find the axis of symmetry to be negative b over 2a, but that's when your equation is in general form, so the a x squared plus b x plus c. Okay, So, for example, too, I just want to find the axis of symmetry given the function. So f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 6x minus 11. So here to find my axis of symmetry, my negative b value would be the opposite of the 6, so negative 6, and then divided by 2 times my a which is 3. So then I get negative 6 divided by 6, which will be negative 1. So my axis of symmetry will be x equals negative 1. Remember, it's x equals negative 1, not axis of symmetry is equal to negative 1, because it is a line that when you graph this parabola, it is a line that cuts through the vertex, and so you need to have it in an equation form that's why the x equals needs to be there, not just the negative one. It's not like a dot on the graph, okay? So make sure that that's an equation, because if you don't have that as an equation on a test or a quiz, then it'd be counted wrong, okay? So next thing, let f of x equal a times x minus h squared plus k. And then the maximum or minimum value of f occurs at x equals h. So it occurs at the vertexes x value. Okay? Therefore, if a is greater than 0, then the minimum value is f of h is equal to k. So if you plugged in h, then I'll give you the y value k, which is a minimum. Or if it's a is less than 0, then it's a max at that value, and same thing. You plug in h, you get k. Okay? So that's just saying that if you have it a is greater than 0, it's facing up, so it becomes a minimum. If it's the other way, a is less than zero, and so the vertex is a maximum at that point. Okay. So here I want to be able to find the max or min value of each function and graph um, the function. So here I have x squared plus x plus 1. So here, since they're in this form, let's use our axis of symmetry. So my opposite of b would be negative 1 over 2 times 1. So here it would be at negative 1 half. If I plug that in, because a is positive, it's a greater than 0, that means it's going to be a minimum at that point. So plug in negative 1 half. So that gives me 1 fourth minus one half plus one so that gets me negative one fourth plus one which is three fourths okay so there's your vertex and your minimum so your minimum is three fourths that's the smallest it's going to be so if i let's make this go by one two three So then at <clears throat> negative one half, and then up three fourths would be right about here. If I go, this is one, this is two. Okay, so there's my vertex. Okay, now I want to be able to find uh, some other values to create my parabola. So here, I just want you to plug in a number to the right of your vertex and a number to the left. Pick easy numbers, so like here, you want to be the same distance. So if you plug in 0, that means on the opposite side it would be negative 1. And so then that would give me my parabola if I plug those in. So Now remember, it's also symmetrical. So then when you plug in 0, negative 1 will have the same k value at the end. So here I get 1. So since it's at 1, 
that also means negative 1 would be at 1. And you can test it if you will like. Okay, so the negative 1 and 1 cancel out. Negative 1 squared is 1, so then it's the same. Okay, so then I get my parabola. There's my sketch. Okay. Let's try the next one. Here I want to be able to take the example or find the domain and range of the previous example. So let's take a look back at that. So looking at this, it doesn't matter left or right what my x is because I'm going to continue to go out. There's no restrictions on what I can plug in for x. So then when I go back to this, my domain, and remember we put stuff in interval notation. So because it's all reals, it'd be from negative infinity to infinity. And if I go back to the range, it looks like the lowest value is going to be that 3 fourths. But I can get anything that's higher than 3 fourths. But I can't go anywhere lower than that. So my range would be 3 fourths. And I would put not a parenthesis there, but a bracket because I'm including 3 fourths. But then I go to infinity with a parenthesis. Okay? So that would be my domain and range for that. All problems are kind of like that, where it's a, if it's a max, then the top number will be the highest you can go, and then everything to negative infinity. Domains usually will go from um, be all reals. Uh, depending on if there's something special that happens, but we really don't talk about the special, any special ones um, with the quadratic functions for this one. Okay? Have fun!